Let's take Sniper for a spin and uh, figure out how Sniper searches perform when you're publishing at uh, 500,000 events per second. To begin, let's just take a look at uh, the events that we have inside Sniper. So right now we have about 40.5 billion events uh, that have been ingested so far and we continue to publish data at about 500,000 EPS. As you can see, we have a number of different data sources that are continuously being fed into the system, uh, including uh, NetFlow data and Windows events and Fire Palo Alto Fire events and Semantic DLP and others. Now, in order to, to begin the search, I can go into, into Spotter and start looking at different types of events. One of the most valuable events are Palo Alto, uh, next-gen firewall events and if I click on Palo Alto I can very quickly see about uh, 129 you know 178 million events that uh, have been retrieved uh, from the search server and over these events what I'm really interested in to begin my search uh, let's start with some simple ones let's look for all the events where my application protocol is uh, application protocol is equal to TCP so that will give me all my TCP events in the last one hour. Again you can see the speed at which it retrieves about 113 million within uh, about a second or so and all the TCP events that I have in the system out of these I want to now add another condition and say uh, what I'm really interested in is the one events where I had drops in my firewall so this will give me all the drops on firewall that were of DCP and it highlights it sweetly so I can see exactly what is going on and let's get a little bit more uh, more creative here so we have these dropped events and out of the dropped events I want to take a look at the different categories uh, that these are related to so I can go in and very quickly create a bar chart on these and say bar chart count by device category and I'll try to auto correct as I type it so uh, uh, let's actually device event category so let's just go in and take a look at the different category of websites that were dropped on the firewall. If there's anything interesting here, I could click on it and take a look at it. So there's some dropped events to the online storage category of sites. I'm trying to find if there's anything related to, to malware really quick so I can see, oh, here there are, so there's about 623,000 events which are malware related events. I can click on that and take a look at those events which are uh, malware sites, malicious websites that uh, that were dropped on the firewall. And then another thought comes to my mind on, uh, I wonder if, if uh, there's a targeted attack on, on one of my departments within my company. So, uh, you know, I've already done a bar chart count by device event category. So what I'll do is uh, over here, I can now say, uh, let's add this directly from here saying, I want all the sites which were category malware dropped on the firewall protocol TCP and rather than getting a, a, a chart by category I want it by department so this tells me all the departments that uh, where users went to malicious websites and they were dropped on the firewall and uh, you know, it's, it's interesting, obviously, I can see this, but you know what I'm, I really want? I don't want only the dropped events because those are obviously, uh, they've been dropped by the firewall and not very interesting. So I would rather go in and say, uh, let's do a bar chart of device action by department so I can see if the malicious websites were not just dropped but actually people were able to visit those so, and especially the ones which are in orange i mean this is interesting right i can go in and uh, maybe i can drop drop all the other ones and uh, this brings up a chart of all the websites that were visited that were, uh, were flagged as malicious by these different individuals so as you can see it's a beautiful to experience to search in sniper and considering that we started off with about uh, 40, 
you know, 40 billion events and uh, 6 billion events in Palo Alto. And very quickly look at my search results. I had 330 records of uh, people visiting malicious websites and uh, being allowed to visit it. And looking at it by department, I can see the retail banking department has the most number of, uh, of visits to malicious websites. So uh, this is the experience of Sniper uh, searching at the speed of thought. Thank you.